everybody. This is the moment you've been waiting for. For D&D to start streaming a Capcom game known as Wait for it Mega Man 10 Yes, this is the moment you've all been waiting for, I know. Like, dude, D&D, when are you gonna do the best game ever, Mega Man 10? We've got like a million about it, so we decided to do it. Because you, the watchers, wanted it. Some people call you viewers, but I like to call you watchers. Dr. Light, I think Roll has come down with Robo-Inza. Was that what that was? From what I can tell, the virus only affects robots. Sucks, because everyone in this game is a robot. You all need to be careful. It's always 20XX or something crazy like that, because... I mean, it couldn't be like 30XX. A new robot. Robo-Enza. We're all causing robots to malfunction. But yeah, I guess like when they first made this <coughs> series, they're like, dude, year 2000, you're gonna be like flying cars and stuff. So, this depiction of it right here with like saucer buildings and stuff probably seem pretty accurate. Like, dude, maybe if it's like 2050, dude, this is what the future is going to look like. I think that's what I really like about this franchise as a whole is that, like, it's what the 80s thought the future would look like. And somehow it's become, like, its own subgenre. It's kind of, like, really cool. I really like it. Because there's a lot of stuff that, like, try to depict the future in the 80s. Help! Dr. Wiley. Yeah, that went crazy and attacked him. They couldn't put that. <laughs> they couldn't put the, the end of that sentence there. I told me to get back to my medicine making machine. Okay. We'll have to help you. Yeah, I mean, you've only try, tried to destroy us and the whole world, but whatever, man, we'll help you. You've only been in jail probably like a larger part of your later 60s here, but whatever. Actually, I saw a really cool uh, game theory about how Dr. Light's probably like the most evil because he kind of created Robo Proto Man's like, yo dog, we're half brothers or something. We gotta do this as a team. Let's do this, Mega Man says. Mega Man 10, sucker. I'm gonna do a new game. I'm gonna use Proto Fag. Normal or easy? Normal, duh. I'm not a Mega Man wimp. I'm not a Mega Wimp. Alright, so. Let's see. Sheath Man looks about the lamest. He's probably first. Alright, so. Oh, I always like that how it's like. By arrows. One of the cool things about Mega Man games is always music, man. Like, even when I was a kid, this is like one of the first games I was ever able to beat. It was Mega Man. 
Mega Man 6, actually. Maybe we'll do that game someday. And it's really not considered to be like, oh, the super cool Mega Man game. But it was the first Mega Man game where they had the Charge Buster, so that's pretty cool. And I didn't even know, like, that was like my first Mega Man game. And I thought it was just like a staple until I played Mega Man 2, and I was like, what the crap? Why can't I charge? Of course, I didn't say crap, because I was like, you know, eight. If I said crap, my mom would have slapped me in the mouth. Yeah, Proto Man. It's pretty cool you get to use Proto Man. For all these who don't know the history and lore of Mega Man, uh, Proto Man was kind of like rival, kind of, he was kind of trying to like F up your day. I mean, really, I guess he was trying to kill you if you let him kill you. Because you'd have to fight him, like, there'd be points in the game, and all of a sudden, like, wham bam, the cool Proto Man whistle shows up. And then he like beams in and starts wrecking your day in the middle of the level. And you're like, dude, I already had to fight like a giant tiger robot. What do I gotta fight this guy for? But whatever, he was there. And uh, you find out, what is it? It's like, Mega Man 3? He does like the typical like anime, like, it's because I'm your brother. And I'm trying to prove myself to be better than you. Something like that, anyway. Oh, oh, wow, okay. I don't know if you could tell what's going on, but because I'm running in place, I couldn't, like, run to get away from those guys. But, but yeah, so, it's kind of cool you get to use Proto Man. I like that. Everyone was always like, oh, Proto Man's awesome. He was kind of like the original Zero. Like, dude, he's red, and he's got a cape and, like, cool 80s glasses and a shield. This guy's it. This guy is the shiz. Oh, dude, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die right here, probably. Oh. Even Proto Man can die. Because <clears throat> he never, like, dies when you fight him as Mega Man. He just goes, ooh, and, like, beams out before, I guess, you're totally about to annihilate him. Halfway point. Oh, if I had to kill that guy, that would have been the checkpoint, but that mini boss got me. Oh, I didn't have to get the bolts. I'm not actually even, I haven't really played much of this game. Uh, I'm not even entirely sure at this point what I use those bolts for. I know in other Mega Man games, like Mega Man and Base. Yes, Base, because it's not Bass, because that's stupid. Mega Man base, there's a currency of bolts, so I'm assuming you get some, like, you can buy extra lives or something cool like that. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> That's freaking close, guys. Did you see that? It was so close. Oh, what the heck? How do I fight this guy? How do I fight this guy, even? Let him go. I'll just let him go. He's not gonna come back after me. It was a one-time deal. I can forgive a one-time offense. I'm just that kind of guy. I really like the music in Mega Man, though. It's like when I think of like awesome 8-bit music, it's like Mega Man. Props to Mega Man. Uh, devs for making one of the coolest 8 bit soundtracks ever. Oh my gosh! These, like, it's so simple, but yet it's not because I can't go anywhere. It's like, I have to run on that to, to obviously hurt this dude, but then I can't actually move. I'm sure there's people out here who are gonna see this and be like, oh my god, what a freaking Mega Man noob. Like, dude, you just gotta land in a certain spot, and then you gotta do it this way and that way, and bing, boom, bibbity bop, you're done. But, I'm not a Mega Man Pro, guys. I do like Mega Man. I'm pretty good at some of the older Mega Mans, but I'm pretty new to this series, this newer 8 bit series. Hopefully I don't get a game over. 
uh, if this goes on, <laughs> this goes on too long, we're just gonna have to like do an episode on every like, like every level will be like a new entry into the series. All right, that was good. Good luck. I'm feeling the love. I think I got an idea how to defeat this guy. This mini boss, that is a light bulb. Always cracks me up like Mega Man bad guys. It's like some are so stupid, like Sheep Man. Like this is just stupid light bulb. Like why can't I defeat him? Because those guys. That is the only reason. Oh my gosh. What am I, like, negative one lives? Okay, I'm zero lives. Whatever. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna kill myself and game over, because at this point, even if I get to Sheep Man, I'm probably not gonna win. I'm gonna need a couple lives to figure out his tactics. Don't worry, everyone. I'm recharged and ready to go. Whatever. I'm, I don't, it's like, I try to fight that guy, but whatever, I don't even care. It's easier just to run past him. Wow! I'm good at this game. I like the music control. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really like the music of this game. Probably because I've said it like ten times. But I'm, but I'm for real. Like, Mega Man is my jam. <laughs> Actually, when I was like... I don't know, in high school, I liked Mega Man music so much that I tried to like find people to, who like did awesome rock covers of it online. And in my epic quest to find awesome redone gaming music, it was uh, pretty hard actually, but I found this website called Dwelling of Duels. And essentially, it's, it's kind of like a battle of the bands. And every month, there's a different theme. And they had Mega Man theme. And you would think, like, oh, dude, that would people, like, must have submitted the coolest Mega Man music. But whatever. They didn't. Uh, it was a free month. And then the free months, you could just submit whatever kind of song. Backtracking and trying to make you, help you understand a little bit of actually what I'm talking about. It's, it's like a battle of the bands, except you have to submit a song based on the theme of that month, right? So, you had to, uh, sorry, I'm trying to, like, dodge and not die here. You had to submit, like, a Mega Man song for Mega Man month or whatever. Or if it was Mario month, you could do that too. And, uh, I, but for a free month, you could submit whatever you wanted. And there are some really cool Mega Man covers, man. Some of these guys, these musicians, dude, it's like, like, I'm an okay musician. And those guys, though, it's like some of these dudes are just on another level. How? Why is so much Whatever, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So, anyway, I, uh, long story short, I found a really cool Mega Man cover songs, and I was like jamming out to it one day, and my dad, he was like, What are you listening to? You know, because my dad was always, like, my dad plays drums, he's kind of into music and stuff. I was like, I was like, 
oh, it's a Mega Man. He was like, what? Mega Man has music? And I was like, well, yeah, like, check this out. And he was like, wow, that's actually, like, really good. What the heck, you know? Because before I would talk about how I really like music, and he'd be like, it's not real music, Johnny. It's just a computer. And I was like, then someone had to program that, Dad. It's not just, like, the grew up computer out there and was like, make music. And the computer was like, oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> here it goes. I'm going to make some songs for this video game. But my dad was like, whatever, who cares? It's just like some guy on a keyboard. It's not like a whole band. It's not that cool. He tried to like really downplay it. He wasn't very impressed. But I was not swayed. I believed in the... Oh. I believed in the talent that was behind the programming. So... I found really cool Mega Man covers, and I found actually a lot of really cool guys through all that stuff. It was actually, like, it's, I actually still even, like, go and check it out until this day. It's still going. So if any of you guys watching this and you're like, man, I wish I could find cool video game music, but, like, they're not even paying me to say this. I just think it's a really cool place. Dwelling of Duels. You will find it, and you will be like, yes, this is awesome. And they've even updated it, like, because when I first found it, it was just like, you had to, like, they had, like, the months, the seasons of whatever the game was here, kind of fun, right? But now they have, like, a search function, so you could just be like, Mega Man songs! But if you're gonna do it, you gotta, like, know how to look, because on the website, it's kind of, like, weird, like, they rate everyone. Like, at the end, it's like, oh, this person got first, you know, and everybody gets first, second, third, whatever the heck. Well, you have to, like, make sure what you're looking at is, like, usually a top entry, because you get a lot of people who enter a lot of garbage. Not to diss on anybody who's trying to be a good musician and just trying to have fun. I'm not trying to do, be a hater. But, you know, it's just, like, how it is everywhere. There's always going to be the Rebecca Blacks doing Friday and thinking they're legit, and the rest of the world kind of knows they're not, but whatever. We all give them a chance. We all give them high fives because who cares? And uh, that's kind of how it is. There's some really freaking awesome stuff, and then there's kind of some trash that you're going to have to sort through. But it's all good. Uh, you can usually tell, like, right away, like, the recording parts. In fact, uh, it's not directly Mega Man, but it is Mega Man X. And uh, that's a, another one of my really favorite franchises. There's a song called Zero Light, and the guy literally plays a medley of songs. Like, he mixes the whole Mega Man X soundtrack in one, like, seven minute song. And it is so good. Like, his backup riffs and everything, the way he plays, the, the, the rhythms he is, man, it is legit. The guy goes with Prince of Darkness. You should check it out. And Prince of Darkness also does a super kick awesome cover of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 soundtrack. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Alright, but I think I can do it. I like how it's kind of the matrix on the top and the bottom here, this binary code. Because, I guess that's Sheaf Man. It relates to the matrix. They're probably like, okay, well, if we're gonna make a guy like Sheep Man, we gotta make his level look cool. So what are we gonna do? The matrix. Duh. Okay, so I keep jumping too early on a lot of these. Oh, I should have jumped. But basically, it's always the last one. Wow, dude, I can only get hit like four times. Head with this guy. Brutal. But it's always the last time it shoots that little extra bolt out. So all I have to do is make sure I'm in a place where I'm not gonna. Boom. No! I should have jumped. Oh, look how close it was. Shoot! Oh, okay. Before this is over, though, I'm gonna be a sheep man master. I don't know about the rest of the game, but I'll be able to wreck through this level. Speedrunners, look out! Be like, I'll just do speed runs of sheep man. Like, I don't know if it still saves my currency and stuff I get. That'd be cool, because I'll have a lot of little 
bolts or whatever the heck. favorite soundtracks of the Mega Man franchise is actually, uh, well, I know it's gonna be cliche, but it's everyone's favorite because it's good, is Mega Man 2. Like, for real, the stuff they came up with for that game, it's like, I, I think what impressed me is like somehow these guys were able to use 8-bit sounds to get me pumped about playing this video game, like, this game of squares. Like, they were f able to figure out to make these sounds that it would, like, always get me pumped. It'd be like, running through here. And, uh, it always was like, it always get me excited, man. I don't know. It's awesome. It's just so good. I mean, if any of you have looked into Mega Man franchise at all, you'll find out that, like, a big influence of, like, just, I mean, in Mega Man, uh, in, I mean, not in Mega Man, but Mega Man in Japan is actually called Rockman, not because, oh, he's like a rock, but because of the music genre of rock. Like, that's why a lot of the uh, music sounds like rock. Okay, this is stupid. Almost got the checkpoint the first time. This is